don't thank Paul. It was for you I came. <laughs> then I must drink a toast to Camille. Oh, no, Paul, you had four glasses already. That's nothing. For last year's carnival night, I had 14. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the arrow guys. This way, this way. See the naughty notch lips. The adorable Arab angel. Oh, oh we will continue our studies of anatomy. Yeah, much nicer than, than visiting a morgue. show charlatan. So if you expect to witness the usual carnival, hocus pocus, just go to the box office and get your money back. I'm not exhibiting a freak. A monstrosity of nature. But a milestone in the development of life. The shadow of Eric Day hangs over us all. The darkness, the 
for the dawn of man. <laughs> so, right? D -d don't be afraid. It's only a b -b 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 baboon. I I'm not afraid. N neither am I. Oh. Listen to him, brothers and sisters. He's speaking to you. Can you understand what he says, or have you forgotten? I have relearned his language. Listen. Marriage of Papa Padre. Could the Boracarmi Tanchina tell you there? I will translate what he says. My home is in the African jungle where I lived with my father and my mother and when my brothers and sisters. But I was captured by a band of hairless white apes and carried away to a strange land. I'm in the prime of my strength. And I'm lonely. Here is the story of man. In the slime of chaos, there was the seed which rose and grew into the tree of life. Life was motion. Fins changed into wings, wings into ears, and crawling reptiles grew legs. Aeons of ages passed. There came a time when a four-legged thing walked upright. Behold, first man. Oh. Heresy. 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 Do they still burn men for heresy? Then burn me, monsieur. Light the fire. Do you think your little candle will outshine the flame of truth? Do you think these boards and curtains are my whole life? <laughs> they are only a trap to catch the perils of fools. My life is consecrated to great experiment. I tell you I will prove your kinship with the ape. Oh. Eric's blood shall be mixed with the blood of man. Oh. Oh. I wish I knew. Madame and Monsieur, if any of you wish to make the acquaintance of Eric, come forward. There is no need to be afraid. He is behind bars and cannot hurt you. Let's go up. Oh, no, Pierre, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. He likes you, Camille. Look, he wants your bonnet. Eric is only human, mademoiselle. He has an eye for beauty. You have made a conquest, mademoiselle. <coughs> Do 
come to be killed. Oh, that has ruined your bun. I will replace it, mademoiselle. I will send you a new bun with Eric's compliments. Will you tell me where you live and what your name is? Never mind, monsieur. It was an accident. But I insist. Where do you live, my child? It is not necessary, monsieur. Come dear. Follow her. I must know where she lives. You liked her, didn't you, Eric? Have I ever told you that I love you? Camille, I love you. Let me look at you. You're like a flower, soft and fragrant. Pure and beautiful. Oh, darling. And you're like a star, too. A white morning star. And your hair. It's full of stardust. You're like a song the girls of Provence sing on May Day. And like the dancing in Normandy on May Day. And like the wine in Burgundy on May Day. Oh, Camille, I love you. And I love you, too, Pierre. In distress? Who are you? Come with me. Where? My carriage. No, no! Why are you trembling at my touch? Your hand is cold. It chills me. Come. I will help you. Mademoiselle? 
They'll only last a little long. Oh. 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 Ah, you stubborn hush! Oh. You'll only last one more minute and we shall see. We shall know if you are to be the pride of science. Ah! is rotten, black as your sins. You cheated me. Your beauty was a lie. Janusz, Janusz. Get rid of it. Get it away. A man, a woman, age, forty, thousand or thirty, cause of death, drowning, profession,
Yes. Identification? None. She was naked. Number 13. Well, Monsieur Dupin, what brings you here so late? The two women. What about them? Monsieur, would you be good enough to show them to me once more? If you wish, Monsieur Dupin, I will show you three. Three? You mean there's been another one? Yes. Let me see her. Yes. There's the body. The same marks. Marks? See them? They're on the others, too. Monsieur, you must let me take a specimen of this woman's blood. Impossible. Since that whole body disappeared last week, the inspector is very strict about medical students. Then uh, you bring it to me. It's against all regulations. Tomorrow night, huh? Good night, monsieur. The macaroni's ready. And the coffee's getting cold. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? You give five francs to that old ghoul down at the morgue, and, and I have to turn magician and pull a loaf of bread out of my nose so we can eat. Dupin, you might at least have decency to come to the table. Pierre, why don't you go down to the morgue and live there instead of making a morgue out of our home? Vampire, vulture, body snatcher, say something. Come in. Speak of the devil. Good morning, monsieur. You've got it, eh? Yes, monsieur, I've got it. But who knows, at the price of my job, perhaps. I am a married man, monsieur. I have children. And if the police should even suspect that I was holding anything back from them, I should be put behind bars. No use. No use. We haven't a son team. Uh, yes, monsieur. I must owe you the money. The morgue must give us credit. Then I will trust you. Monsieur the morgue keeper. Perhaps you have an extra slab for my friend here. Why not take him in? He eats nothing. 
He doesn't talk. He never changes his position. I'm sure he'd make you a very fine tenant. <laughs> I'll pack his things and send them down. You don't live badly here, monsieur. Hmm? I had to hurry myself up here without lunch. Uh, oh. Oh. And now you have to hurry back for your lunch. Why, that's too bad. Good appetite to you and your quiet guests. Goodbye. Good day, monsieur. If you'd pay half as much attention to your studies as you do to this nonsense, what grades you'd get. Hmm? What'd you find out? After the carnival last night, I performed an autopsy. The victim didn't die of drowning. There was no water in her lungs. Oh, so that's what you were up to. I thought you were with Camille. Huh? Of what did the victim die? Paul, here it is again. What? The same foreign substance in the blood of each victim. Look, Paul. All three died from the same cause. Some strange poison, perhaps. Something introduced into the bloodstreams that caused their death. What could it be? I don't know. That's what I have to find out. Oh, Pierre, you must pull yourself together. Why, you're becoming fanatical. Look at yourself in the mirror. Your eyes are getting glassy, just like that old charlatan's. Dr. Morocco, eh? What did you make of him? No, he's a faker. Did you pay attention to what he said? You mean about us being the product of evolution? Yes. Mm. Has it occurred to you that he might be right? Eat your lunch. Dr. Morocco. He's a strange man. Pierre! See what just came. New bonnet. A bonnet? Oh, it's lovely. Are you sure it's for you? My name's on the box. Isn't it pretty? Oh, now who could have sent it? Maybe it's from Pierre. Oh, where would Pierre get money enough to get a present like that? Maybe there's a card inside the box. From Dr. Miracle. And who is Dr. Miracle? You know, I told you. The funny old man at the sideshow who owns the ape. Oh, I see. The ape took your bonnet and the gentleman's replacing it. Well, that's very nice of him. It's a beautiful bonnet. Shall I wear it to the picnic? Why not? I wonder how he found out where we live. Well, didn't you tell him? He wanted to know, but Pierre wouldn't let me tell him. Oh. Isn't that funny? Well, anyway, you have a new hat. Camille! Camille! There they are. Hello! Ah, there she is. Everybody ready? One, two. Her father wanted her to wear the funny, funny little man. Her father wanted her to wear the funny, funny little man. My father wanted me to wear the funny, funny little man. But I would not be weird, I said, to such a funny little man. Come, <laughs> <laughs> fair maiden. Young Charger champs at the bit. Come on, Camille. Hurry up, hurry up. 
Did you bring the chicken? My, aren't you dressed up? I mean what I say. Then here's to a truthful student. Though the animal doesn't exist. But, Mignette, I give you my word. So we'll speak to my parents tonight? Well, it's you I love, Suzette. Not your family. We. Oh, don't I look different to you today? Different? How? You're a blind donkey. <laughs> Something new I've got on. Oh, of course. It's beautiful. And it's a gift. A gift? Well, well. Who from? Yes. Honoré, that poet. Oh. <laughs> yes, again. That butterfly collector, Moreau. <laughs> oh, Pierre. You'd better give up. It's from Dr. Miracle. 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 Yes, wasn't it nice of him? Did he bring it himself? No, but he sent a note. So, he found out where you live after all. And I can't imagine how. He must have had us followed. What did the note say? He asked me to come to his tent tonight. That's strange. What could he want? You mustn't go. Why not? I wonder what Dr. Miracle is up to. Paul calls him a faker, but he isn't. He isn't an ordinary man. I'll go see your Dr. Miracle tonight. Very well, Pierre. Get that pole down the hallway. What's the matter, Eric? Are you restless? Be quiet. What is the matter, Eric? So, we have a caller. Dr. Miracle. No I... show tonight, young man. The carnival is over. I've already seen your performance. Doctor, I wanted to talk to you. First, the young lady to whom you sent the hat wants me to thank you for her. Then she is not coming. She sends her regrets. Very well. Good night. Are you going away? Yes. We move to Munich in the morning. Excuse me. I must attend to my work. I'm a medical student. And the things you said in your lecture were very interesting. Have you experimented, Doctor? Yes. Have you written any papers? None to be shown. I had I hoped you'd let me come to see you. Have you a house in Paris? No. I sleep here. This tent is my home. Good night, young man.
No, no. That's Dr. Miracle's stuff. He's not going with us. He's going to stay in Paris. Load on. Pull ahead. He got out with the ape, and I'll swear they were talking to each other. They went inside, and after that, there was no sign of life, not a sound. So you went home? Well, I dropped in at the morgue. Pierre, Pierre, what will you come to? <laughs> Why are you always visiting that horrid old place? <laughs> Don't you worry, darling. Look, there's all of our Paris spread out before us. I like to see the little lighted windows twinkling like stars. Wouldn't it be fun to know all that was going on inside those houses? Perhaps it's just as well that we don't know. Think of what all those walls are hiding. Broken hopes and bodies and hearts. Absent dreams. Starvation, madness. Crimes of the streets and tragedies of the river. <laughs> Paris, my city. I hate to leave you alone tonight. Hold me tightly, Pierre. Oh, I could hold you forever, Camille. Yes. Good night, dear. Good night, Pierre. By the way, you always keep your door bolted at night, don't you? Not always, Pierre. Well, be sure and lock it tonight, dear. Will you promise? If you say so. Good night. Good night. Good night, dear. Good night, Mother. Mademoiselle, you will pardon the late hour, but I have to see you. What do you want, monsieur? Don't be alarmed, mademoiselle. I'm leaving Paris tonight, and there is something I have to tell you. May I come in? Oh, no, monsieur. My mother has gone to sleep. My carriage is downstairs, mademoiselle. We can drive to a cafe and talk. Oh, that's impossible. But it is of greatest importance. Oh, please go away. Mademoiselle, you must come. Please, do me this favor. Oh, let me close the door. I'll call for help. But I have a message for you from Eric. He talks only of you. He can't forget you. 
There is something you must know. Are you insane, monsieur? Eric! Eric! There, Eric! She's up there! Paul, 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 wake up. Uh, what's wake the, up. What's the matter? What? I found it. It's the blood of a gorilla. G gorilla? Those women, don't you understand? They died because a gorilla's blood was injected into their veins. Camille. Camille. so it isn't a murder. He's carried her away. She's gone. Who are you? Where do you come from? He's her sweetheart. He comes here every night. Aha, uh -huh. sweetheart. 
You may wait for the prefect. But we must find Camille. Let me go, you fool. It'll be too late. You may tell all that to the prefect. Now, what is your name? Pierre Dupont. Pierre Dupont. And where do you live? Oh, don't you understand? Her life is in danger. I understand. Where do you live? Oh, you fool! You stupid fool! So, your name is Victor Albert Adolf Jules Hugo Louis Dubois, eh? Yes, sir. Why did you not investigate when you heard the first scream? I... I was afraid. Stupid. Incredibly stupid. Yes, sir. I... Stupid. Habe die Ehre, Herr Präfekt. What is your name and business? I am Franz Odenheimer. I own a restaurant. Odenheimer. In your own way, tell us what happened. You see, I was just going to bed, when suddenly I heard a scream. Right away, I ran across the street, and I was one of the first ones to enter this room. On the way upstairs, I heard a voice, and that voice was speaking Italian. Do you speak Italian? <laughs> Were you ever in Italy? Yes, sir. No. How do you know it was Italian? Because I am sure it was Italian. Ah. Thank you, sir. Alberto Montani. <laughs> what do you know of this affair? Well, uh, I also heard the voice. But it was not Italian. I am Italian. I speak Italian. Io parlo Italian. When I ran up the stair with the other, I heard the voice. But <laughs> it's not Italian, no. Excellency, it was Danish. You speak Danish? No. Were you ever in Denmark? No. How do you know it was Danish? <laughs> My intuition. It was not Danish. Oh. I beg your pardon, <laughs> Your Honor. I'm a native of Denmark. Mm. Danish is my native tongue. Hey, I heard the voice, but it was not Danish. Mm. It was German. Mm. Italian, mm. not German. Mm. Danish. German. Ich lege meine Hand auf Jürgens Feuer, dass es kein Deutscher war. Oh, no, no, Sie doch, nicht schon Italiano, Capaccio, German. Herr Dommer, jetzt hier German. Ja, will ich jetzt über German. Ja, will ich jetzt über German. Kennen die Deutschen in Paris? Ja, nur über Paris. 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 Ja, nur über Imbecile! Get your little Bring in the young man. Monsieur, the prefect will question you now. Now you might as well come quietly. Don't try and make any more trouble. Young man, what is your name? My name? Oh, I can tell you who committed the murder and where you can find him. Who? Oh. An ape. Oh. An ape? He's out of his mind. If you don't listen to me now, you'll be guilty of the second murder. Second murder? So you know there has been one. Yeah. If you'll only listen to me, I'll explain. Very well. Tell us what you know. There were two women in this room. The only door was locked and bolted. Everybody heard screams and the sound of a terrible struggle. Within two minutes, the door was broken down. No one was here. One of those women was carried away. I tell you, the other one was murdered, and her body must be somewhere in this room.
murder. Young man, you know too much. I arrest you for the murder. Yes, and another murder may be happening now. The confession you wish to make? No, an accusation. Dr. Morocco in the Rue Morgue is guilty of four murders so far this week, and by now perhaps a fifth. Do you accuse this doctor? Dr. Morocco has a captive ape. It committed this crime. No one man could have done this. Three men couldn't have pushed that body up the chimney. I tell you, that ape killed her and carried her daughter off through the window. You're insane. Come on. Wait! Here is proof. That is not human. It's the hair of an ape. Oh. Ape. 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 Now. Follow us. Yes, now we know. It is dead. Her blood is perfect. <laughs> house. No one lives here. But it's not empty, I tell you. We must break in. There's another door at the side. We'll try it. Police! We cannot stop now. Hold them off until I'm ready. He's dead.
Name? Miracle, I believe, or something like that. Number two. Number two. Age? Oh, any age, it doesn't matter. Profession? They say he was a scientist or something. Death caused by? <laughs> An ape. 